Today we're going to be doing a $5 versus $25 versus $50 budget fishing challenge. Oh my gosh, it feels nice. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the new kickin' pink edition. Let's go. Oh, look at this, dude. The way this challenge is gonna work is that me, Adub, and Noah are all going into Walmart to pick out everything we need for our budgets. And then we're gonna go to some ponds and catch some fish. Whoever catches the most fish in three hours wins the tournament. But there's a twist. <laughs> Whoever catches the biggest fish today gets $500. Now it's time to decide who gets which budget. All right, boys, Connor and Adam said they're going for broke. I'm just gonna get the $25, but one of these boys is gonna be walking away with five bucks, and I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be a little tough. So Connor, what you thinking, boy? I'm, I'm thinking. I think so, I could beat both of these wieners with five dollars anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, so you guys gotta figure out now. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I want this to be a clean fight. Best out of three, boys, let's get it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh-oh, one for A-Dub. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That was so lame. Dude. He was so late, bro. <laughs> You're off counter on me. No, no, no. Don't, don't okay. play this no, game with okay. me, dude. All right, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe it. I can't, I can't even believe it. A-Dub get the $50 today, you know, man. What, you know what that means? That means I'm the man. You're the man with the plan? That's right. Or is Connor the man with the plan because he's only got five you know what bucks? That means? I got a wake bait, baby. <laughs> he's going to choose one. One bait is going to be a wake bait. All right, boys, let's go ahead and get inside and see what we pick. I get 25 bucks. Connor gets the five bucks. Mr. A does the rich boy today. He gets $50. So let's go ahead and get inside and see what we pick out. Saturday and Sunday, March 23rd through the 24th, I'm having a fan meetup at the Bassmaster Classic in the Cox Business Convention Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Make sure you come out and say hey. I will be at the mock booth next to the Strike King and Lose booth from 12 to 3 p.m. on Saturday and from 11 to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Please come out and say what's up. It's going to be an awesome time. Now let's hop back into this video. All right, boys and girls, we made it to the fishing section. The man Connor. What's up, ladies? What's, go What's going on? <laughs> you get to go first, man. So I'm actually not picking out any baits, but I'm going to become president and ban Walmart. They're gone because they don't have any wake baits, so the, the <laughs> store shouldn't even exist. It just needs to get out of here. Dude, you, ha you have the worst luck with wake baits. Everywhere we go, they never have Noah them. Noah specifically brings me to this Walmart because they don't have wake baits. That's why we're here. This puts you at a disadvantage every time, you know? <laughs> so these are all a dollar. I got a tight budget here. And we can rock something like that, but they're really light, and I don't know how to catch big cats. I like the birds nest those things. So <laughs> another option would be something like this. The only problem is that's my entire budget. So pretty much, Connor, you could technically get a dollar spinner bait, and you could probably pick out like a soft plastic, or you could just go with that one, and that's your entire budget, bro. That's all you get. You gotta live and die by that bait, bro. All right, you know what? We're gonna wing it. We're going one. You're bait. doing it. We're doing one bait right <laughs> what, here. What do you think, dude? Is that risky? He's about to get smoked. He's about to get smoked? I will Does say. Does this come with him, though? Yeah, I'll add this on. All right, that's yeah, fair. Yeah. That's fair. This is the new kickin' pink edition. Let's go. <laughs> Check him out down below. <laughs> that's all I'm getting. I'm out of here. You're I'm living. Gonna go catch me some units. Some big old girls. Hey, boy, what are you doing? I don't know what Connor's doing over here. If I was him, I probably would have grabbed the $1 spinner bait and possibly some more soft plastics. But then again, just imagine, guys, they're biting spinner bait today, so. Who knows, he'll, he'll probably end up catching them. But guys, we get 25 bucks. So I'm gonna choose about five baits because they're on average about $5. And just to put it in Connor's face, I'm gonna give me a spinner bait too, brother. Who is this guy? I can actually get like five more baits instead of just getting the spinner bait. I didn't know if you knew that. With the prices here at Walmart, you know, I can get about five more. So we're gonna get the flukes, brother, okay? There's nothing that can go wrong with a flute. This is a magical bait, guys. We can throw it weightless, or we can throw it on the back of a chatter donk. That's what's gonna bring us over here. How can we do a challenge without a chatter bait, guys? So we're gonna go with this white chatter donk here. That's money, so we're gonna have a spinner bait, we're gonna have a chatter donk, we're gonna have some flukes. We can throw this on the back of the chatter donk, and we can throw it weightless. 
And then I kind of want to get something a little bit slower. And I was looking over here and saw some of these speed crawls, pretty basic. So we're gonna go with these. These are green pumpkin. We can just slap that on a Texas rig and uh, we're good to go. And for my last bait, cause this is about 20 bucks. See anything, see anything spicy, brother? I don't know if I should be giving tips to the Give competition. Give me some advice, you know? I want the 500. <laughs> the 500? <laughs> oh, the $500. Yeah. That's coming out of my bank. How's this fair, bro? You know? <laughs> All right, guys. This is going to be the last bait. You guys know it don't matter the time of year. I just love it. And that's going to be a half ounce Strike King Red Eye Shad. The pond fish love it. So we got a lipless. We got a chatter donk. We got a spinner bait. Three of my favorite baits. And then we had to follow it up with a fluke ski. And then we got the cross ski. So, boys, that's what I'm getting. Now we're going to turn it over to A Dub over here. He's got 50 bucks. I'm honestly gonna have to get some of the same baits that y'all got because it's just such a great selection. So, definitely gonna get a spinner bait. I'm gonna go with this one. I've caught a lot of big fish on this spinner bait, this exact one, and I know that I'm gonna get some bites on it today. So, definitely getting the spinner bait. And I was eyeing these swim baits right here. This is going to be my big fish catcher right here. You can't tell me big bass does not eat a wild eye live crab. Why do I have a weird feeling where I know where you're going after this? <laughs> I know exactly where you He's been catching a lot of crappie in one of these ponds down he know, here. He knows my plan. But the thing is, <laughs> exactly. the bass are going to eat the crappy lure. It's not a crappy lure. It's a good lure, but it's a crappy lure. You know hey, what man. I'm saying? It's going to work. Just It's a crappy good just lure. Just believe you know? me. Next bait, I've got to get something from down here. I've got to get me a plastic. What do you think about this right here? Are you fishing with them or are you eating them? Both. It's like sardines, you know what I mean? Just, just eat one. <laughs> Oh, you don't taste what you fish with, bro. <clears throat> how, how are you going to know if the fish like it if you exactly. don't give it a lick? That's how true. do you think that they figured out that striking has a coffee scent bait? Gives you that energy, too, baby. <laughs> so we got three baits. This is seven and a half dollars. This is five dollars. This is five dollars. I don't even know what we're at, but I've still got plenty more to go. So let's get something else. This is a hazard to have in Walmart, brother. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Feel how hefty that is. Feel that thing. Should we hit Adam with it? <laughs> I mean, what? wait. I didn't really want to copy Noah. But it's such a good bait to throw. Good old fluke. Add that to the cart. Let's go. We need something else to catch a lot of fish. Rooster tails, and we've got beetle spits. Now, rooster tails are ugly colors. I don't like any of those. So we're probably gonna have to go with the beetle spin. Classic white beetle spin. So boys, I added up my budget wrong. I get three more dollars, can I pick out something you're else? You're lying, I'm dude. not lying, dude. I added it all up and I have look, 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 $22, look, 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 bro. Look, 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 look. Your math ain't mathin'. My math is mathin'. Can I pick out another Yeah, bit? sure, go ahead. So I get three more dollars. This is $3.20. I mean, I'm the one buying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up, bro. See, I rounded all my baits to five bucks, but in reality, a lot of them were like $4. And then I started doing the math and the math is just mathin'. And that's all the drop shot baits, man. All right, you, you just go spend my money some more, man. Just go go finish it up. It's like kind of cold outside, but it's cloudy. So I'm getting the top water. We have not caught a fish on top water this year. I would love to see it, man. Frogger. This, this kid is out of his mind is what I'm thinking. You're trying to throw a wake bait. I don't want to hear it. Oh, man. come on. I can literally buy the whole section. So we're just going to start just grabbing things, I guess. This one looks good, right? That is five ninety eight. Honestly, dude, that's kind of expensive, but. If you buy the ax, technically everything else in the store is free. Because we're, are they gonna tell you to stop? <laughs> Bro. But how deep does it go though? Oh, yeah, this is a that's a this is a floating one. Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna get this one. Dude. How much is? Oh, that's your budget. Dude, it's ten dollars. That's your old budget, right? I think so. I'm gonna have five dollars more. But you know what? Honestly, oh, this is good enough. I don't even need all these to beat y'all. You got a whole platter. I got a whole platter. I'm gonna have platter. to go get a shopping cart, dude. Slap it on a platter, dude. That's fifty dollar right there. I missed a twenty five. And you got Mr. Five Piece right here, baby. Five Piece. Now it's time to get out to the parking lot and get to some ponds. Let's get it, boys. I got my car. Adub's got his truck. Connor's got his car. We are all going to different spots today. We control our destiny. We're going to go on Google Maps, fish as many places as we can to complete the challenge in three hours. So let's get after it. All right, boys, we just hopped in the car. It's time to get out and catch some fish. So our goal today to win the challenge is to catch as many fish as we can and beat the boys by numbers. But with the whole twist and whoever catches the big fish gets $500, I need to defend my money because if they win, they're just gonna take my 500 bucks. And to be honest with you, I don't wanna lose my $500, so we better catch some big ones too. But I have an idea of a pond that's got a ditch in the middle of it and there should be a lot of fish that are loaded up. I haven't fished in a very long time. 
Um, so we're gonna go out there and pretty much wing it and see if we can catch a lot of fish and get our numbers up. And then after that, we're gonna move to a lot of different spots and just hunt for some really big fish. So that's the game plan, but let's go ahead and get driving and uh, put these boys to the dust today. We're actually making our way over to a little golf course pond. And one thing I haven't talked to you guys about is I actually bought a new car. It is a cyber truck. That's actually what we're taking out to the pond today. This car is absolutely ridiculous. It just has so much power. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. We got rolling anti-lag. You just go like this. All right, boys and girls, we have arrived at our first spot. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. I've personally never fished here before, but it looks like a good spot. And if this place does not pan out, I've got one right down the road that I know is gonna be good, but I wanted to come here first because this looks like a big fish pond and we're going for a big one. We want a lot of numbers too, but I want to start off the day with a big one, build up my confidence, work my way into it, catch some numbers. Let's go out here with our $50 budget, see if we can catch us a big one. Here we go, boys and girls. It's game time. We got our Walmart bag with all of our baits. We got a couple fishing combos here, and I got a scale and pliers inside of here as well. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We do not have much time, so we are going to get flow in here. I got my Kicking Their Bass TV x Lose Baitcaster. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports me in the brand. Thank you guys so much. And then we got a Mock Jack spinning rod right here. If you guys want to check this out, you can check it out on Mock. We're going to actually throw one of our baits on a drop shot for this first spot. We're going to try to get as many fish on the bank as we possibly can. And then after that, we're just gonna hit as many ponds and just grind as hard as we can to one, catch some big fish and load up the numbers. So let's go ahead and dig in our bag and get out these baits. And I am glad I double checked my price, man. I have three more bucks I could spend. And we got some of these little tiny minnow baits, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, I think we can smoke a fish on this thing so i just got a standard drop shot we just have a regular drop shot weight little nose hook up front got our little tiny miniature fluke and this is the pond that we're out at today so it's pretty shallow it's pretty flat on the edges a good bit of grass in here and there's a little tiny ditch a little drop off in the middle that a couple months back we were catching some fish in and i'm just hoping that they're going to be here today and we get on them pretty quick so Let's go ahead and start casting and see if we can get some fish on board. Here we go. We just made it out. You guys might be wondering, where are you? This, this doesn't look like a pond. Well, you'd be correct. You know, this is actually, uh, this is a parking lot. I also just learned this new trick that I don't think the other boys know about, but you just go like this and then you jump. Oh, wow. Look at that. A little teleportation activity. Here we are, baby. All I got to say is Connor better be hoping they're chasing. With him only having a dang chatter donk, or not a chatter donk, a spinner bait. This fish better be chasing, because he's got to live and die by that. We might have ended up with the $5 budget today, but you know what? We don't have to make decisions here, because we don't have any decisions to make. We only have one option. And you know, in all fairness, guys, if they gave me a $0 budget, I'd still be doing pretty good today. You know, I'll just tie a rock on and throw that thing around. You know, if you get one shiny enough, you might end up with a, with a hot trophy wife at home. All right, we're rigged up with our first bait of the day which is a fluke. This water is honestly like really green. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The big thing here is we just got to figure out where they're sitting. Sometimes they're more out to the right, right about where I just cast it. Sometimes they're more to the left. Let this bait hit the bottom and work this thing in good. I'm gonna tell you, if they're there, they could be loaded. Oh my gosh, it feels nice. Oh my gosh, this is a this feels like a big one, guys. I can't even move this fish. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a monster. It's a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is a absolute freak, guys. He's coming up again. He's coming up. No, please stay down. Please stay down. Please stay down. Please stay down. Guys, this is a giant. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please stay pinned, baby. Please stay pinned. This is a mega. Oh. Please, baby. Oh my God, please stay pinned. Dude, she is so big. I can't tell if she's like an eight or nine pounder. Oh my God. Oh, she's in the grass, come here. Oh no. Oh. 
she's barely hooked. I gotta get her over this grass. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at that, baby. <laughs> that is our first fish, too. Oh my gosh. I was coming out here to catch some numbers, and we just hooked a freaking five pounder, bro. Oh my gosh. What a way to start it out, guys. Let's plop her on the scale, man. First fish today is an absolute toad. Oh my God, guys. I think that was my second cast. I just caught a giant. That might be six, man. I think she's five, though. Zero dot. Come on, hit six pounds, baby. Oh, she's five. She's five on the money. Five pounds, zero ounces, baby. Let's go. First fish of the day is a tank, and we're defending our $500, boys. That is a beautiful one. I didn't know if she was four pounds, five pounds, nine pounds. I didn't know. I just knew she was big. We're going to have to give her a little toss. And that is an absolute freak. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Let's go, baby. Guys, I, I'm going to tell you, there is not a better way to get your blood pumping then starting off on your second cast with the dang five pounder that gets us in a good spot for the big fish today and defending my 500 dollars. but as far as the challenge is going by numbers so we have to put on some more fish i'm gonna tell you right now because these boys are probably gonna catch them and uh if we want to win we're gonna have to catch a lot of fish and i'm gonna be honest we spent way too much time in walmart and uh, originally it was a three hour countdown we don't even have three hours man we just got to keep casting. Uh, let's see if we can put a bigger one on the bank, man. Oh, dude. Just missed my first one right there. That felt like a good fish, too. He just didn't have it all the way. Guys, I want to cast a little down this bank here. There's like a little grass point up there. Cast along the edge of it. We're not all the way up on the grass. We're trying to stay a little bit off. One thing with throwing shallow in this pond, especially with this drop shot, is there's so much, so much grass, but I got one. There we go. You don't feel big. I mean, you feel decent. Oh my gosh, you are fighting, buddy. Let's get him on the bank and get fish number two up here. Beautiful colors on this bass. Not a big and. But we'll take her beautiful lateral line on that fish and that is fish number two guys on the dropper on the drop shot oh yeah there we go fish number two let's go baby i didn't mean to throw her like that give me another little uh fluke this little nose hook boom just like that man there he is there we go. Oh, dang, dude. There we go, dude. Good fish. Nice. First one of the day on the fluke. I was about to change up bait, so I was starting to lose confidence. 185. I'll take it for the first one of the day. I knew it was gonna happen at some point, and it just did. I brought this spinnerbait with me, and after I get done fishing this area with this fluke, I'm going to come back through with that spinnerbait. No nibbles, no bites, we ain't got nothing, but we're working for it. I'm going to just work this pond quick. We're going to kind of walk down this edge, work around the grass. I'm going to be careful. There's a lot of junk in here, and my spinnerbait's wanting to pick everything up. So we're having to do a little cleanup action, but just wait until they start getting fired up. We're going to land them. Oh, there we go. There's another decent fish, man. Look at that. Come on, stay pinned, baby. She is all up in that ground. Get out of that grass. <clears throat> Look at that two pounder. That is fish number three, boys. Fish number three, and she slammed that dang thing. They are smoking that shad right now. Literally smoking the smoking shad. There we go. There's fish number three. Let's get it. That was not a tree. 
This is so crazy, dude. Bit my dang tail off. I think I might put on that spinnerbait just to see if they'll eat it better. Uh oh. We got some boilage going on in front of us. What is that? Bite to me worm, bite to me spinny. You know, I'm starting to think we probably should have picked a pond that has fish in it. Because this pond pretty much has uh, nothing in it. Man, we are just moving, guys. We haven't had to move spots as far as just walking down the bank. Nor have we had to move to a different pond. We're just finding these fish in this grass with this drop shot. And they're loving it. We ain't going to do this the whole time. But this right here. So pretty much you got this grass at the bottom. This weight's sitting at the bottom of the grass. And I'm having this sit right at the top of the grass line. And it's just a deadly combo for getting these fish to eat. Let's cast right back out there where I caught that five pounder. See if there's any more giants. I just, I got a weird feeling that we can put up a crazy number bag right here. What I like about this corner too is you got all this wind blowing up in here. Don't slow down for me. Keep on biting. I'm gonna walk a little bit more in this corner. Take our little fluke, cut it off of here. See if they'll eat this dang thing. They're biting that flute good. They're just not getting it all the way. So I'm hoping with this, they'll come up behind it and just eat the dang thing. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep, that's number two. <laughs> it's a bass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thing I've caught is small ones, but they're getting a little bit bigger. There's some carp in there. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, they get really big. But yeah, there's a few biting. Sometimes they'll bite better whenever it's like a cloudy day like this. For some reason. Oh, he came off, dude. I couldn't tell if it was a bite or not. No, I think he took my dang thing. I know he's on there. Dang it, man. Ooh, I just landed on a fish right there. Oh, try to throw at that one fish from the, from the other side over here. If I can't get this one to bite, we're probably just gonna, oh, I just spooked another one. All right, last cast and I'm out of here. We gotta go to a pond that actually has fish in it before, before trying to win this $500, baby. There we go. Fish number four, guys. Come on now. There we go. Oh, a little dancing. Come on, baby. Let's get you on the bank. Let's get you on the bank, baby. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Not a big one. But that's fish number four. And we're catching them good, boys. These fish are all over this grass flat. And this is actually a pretty big pond. We're just on one corner of it. And I'm starting to think, you know, hey, you know, maybe they're at a different spot on this pond. But then again, you got to look at it at how what time of year it is right now. And two, just how this wind shifted and this wind's blowing in this corner real good. And I just think I was throwing a little bait fish imitation bait. It's just getting these fish hungry, man. They're loving it. I don't think there's a better bait to be throwing right now to at least catch numbers and big fish. Good one. Oh. Well, he's not that good, but he's decent. He's decent. Oh, dude, he's a baby. He was just fighting really good. But hey, we'll take it. That's number three. There we go. All right, guys, we're going to walk right where we started. And I really didn't focus on this middle section too much. After having those bites pretty shallow over in that corner, this might be a good zone. Thinking right on the edge of that flat right there. Let's go, dude. He is running too, man. Come here, baby. This is fish number five. Stay pinned. Oh, yeah. Decent fish. Stay pinned, baby. Mm, right there, fish number five. 
we are off to a ridiculous start to this challenge man i couldn't imagine it going any better all right guys we're gonna throw a couple more casts out here in the middle and then after that we're probably just gonna get moving i don't want to spend too much time here i think we could spend the whole day here and probably win the whole dang challenge but i want to move around some and i want to try some different areas keep it keep it fun for all of us all right guys we're at a new pond and i suck at fishing <laughs> we haven't really had any nibbles we haven't had much happen yet but we gotta still keep cranking here the the other ponds i was in they were just dirty like there was a lot of grass and all sorts of junk in there that was getting tangled up on my bait so we're switching up trying some new places and we'll see if we can get some luck if there's not a fish in this then there's not a fish on the planet it's got to happen they ain't helped me with my five dollar budget that's for sure all right guys they seem to stop biting we're gonna move on to a different spot and uh keep trying to find these big girls and numbers all right boys we made it out to a new spot and we're gonna try on something different try to get a little crazy with it this water i'm gonna tell you guys as dirty as can be and we're gonna get this chatter donk we're gonna put it on my kicking their bass combo here you know i think we could throw that drop shot in here too and probably get a few bites but at the end of the day this water is so nasty that you're gonna want uh something with some vibration so we should be able to catch a few here and this is a big fish pond there should be some large ones in here we can actually put this on here and keep it a little more smaller slimmer profile we should be able to put one of these on the back of this thing oh my goodness yeah that's it right there well, let's go ahead and cast this around for a little bit and see if we can get a big one to eat. If they're eating anything close to how they're eating in that last pond, we should smoke them in here. Oh my gosh, dude, I got hammered. Oh my gosh. She just didn't have it all the way. I was trying to step to the side and she just grabbed onto that thing. I'm doing away with the spinner bait. It has served me well, but it's time to catch a big one. And this is gonna be what catches us. Our big one right here. Look at that bad boy right there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hit him with a one-two punch now. Got a spinning rod set up with a drop shot from a little minnows. So that way we can catch some numbers. Ugh, these things are slimy. Slimy, 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 slimy. All right, boys, walking up to the next spot. That last pond, I had two bites, but it just wasn't none good, man. But we're gonna start off in this little corner, fish this grass line real quick. Now, honestly, I might run to a different pond after I fish this corner. I don't know if I'm gonna fish the whole thing. But that last one, I just think the water was so dang muddy and it just wasn't worth hitting. So we're gonna try this. I got one. There we go, look at that. First freaking cast, and <laughs> we're on a dang fish, man. Fish number six, boys, let's keep her rolling. We're gonna throw some more in this pocket, see if we can catch a couple more, and then uh, we just gonna keep on moving, guys. There we go, fish number six. I wasn't even gonna pick up this dang drop shot, but I just had a, a weird feeling. I'm like, you know what, try it real quick. She ain't big, but that is exactly what the doctor ordered, boys. Let's keep on tossing around here. There should be more. I mean, if there's one fish like that on this grass, there should be some more. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah. No, he came off. He came off. Hold on. Are you kidding me? No. Well, that's extremely disappointing, to say the least. It's so weird that fish actually slammed that bait and somehow he didn't have it i will say that this pond compared to the the first one i was in i'm definitely liking it more it's got less like grass and more structure you can see a bunch of brush down there in the water that's what we need for the old spinner bait get it to bounce off of everything there we go oh man that might be a good one. Oh, it's a decent one Let's go, dude. Two casts later. Yeah, she ain't big. Oh, there's, dude, there was a giant trying to eat her. Oh my God, there was a giant right behind her, dude. 
like an absolute toad, four or five pounds. I don't know if you guys saw that on the camera, dude. She was right behind it trying to get the bait out of her mouth. Oh my gosh, you can see the boil that she left trying to eat this poor guy. That's fish number seven, man. Let's get back in there. Just seeing that fish falling back. There's more in this area, so we need to focus up here. Maybe even throw that chatter dong. I haven't seen nothing like that in a hot minute. But just that just makes me think like if that little bass didn't eat it, we'd probably have another four or five pounder. I get your adrenaline. Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh, they're loaded. There is no way. That one's bigger than the last two. Let's get her in right here, man. This is fish number eight. What a dang spot. That last one didn't produce much. And these fish aren't big. But we're catching them, and that's all that matters. And that's racking up our number to make sure we secure this dub. Them boys don't even know now. Them boys don't know what's happening. Here we go. Fish number eight. Let's keep it rolling, dude. There's munching in this cove. Oh, dude, what in the world? There's a huge shad right there. Let's see if he likes the drop shot. You want to eat my drop shot, dude? He doesn't want it. Dude, I could probably catch that man with my hands. Look at this. <laughs> dude, it's just a huge shad. Look at him. <laughs> hey, does that count as a fish? Because I just caught it with my hands. I say it does count. We got four. The boys are in trouble if I'm out here catching them with my bare hands. All right, guys, let's keep walking down. I'm not sure what's going on. I just spent way too much time in that corner after I had that bite. I need to keep working because I'm running out of time. If these fish are anywhere in the pond, I would have to think it's on the rocks right there or in this corner that I'm standing at or that one that I had that bite in. But I haven't been able to get another bite over here, which is crazy to me. I feel like just as quick as I'm rigging this dang drop shot up, I'm catching them. And what's crazy to even think about, Connor spent his whole budget, which which don't get me wrong, this this could be in a certain pond type thing, you know, not every pond they're going to get a drop shot like this, but if Connor would have spent his five bucks on this, he probably would have been racking the numbers up. But who knows, he could be smoking them right now. And I got another one, dude. Oh my gosh. See, they're small, but they're exactly what we need to get us in a good spot. That's fish number nine, man. And that one is tiny. These are all pretty dang small. I wish I would've caught that dang four pounder that followed him up. But hey, that's fish number nine, man. We're just gonna keep it going. And then we're gonna hit another spot with some bigger ones. I don't know how many fish these boys have caught, but I ain't taking no chances. And they are loaded on this little corner. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was a bite or I just got excited. All right, guys, new pond, new me. Let's go, baby. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm broken. I'm defeated. We won't get him now, though. Let's go. Oh, yeah, first cast. First cast. Let's go. Let's go. There we go, boys. We got an absolute unit. First fish of the day. We got to get back in there. We got to get us a few more bigger ones. Thank you, buddy. We got to step up our size here a little bit. That thing is not going to... Not gonna get us big fish today. It might get us the smallest fish on the planet, but that's not a title we're working towards. Connor is probably having a grand old time with the spinner bait. That's the only bait he has. If it was the only bait I had, dude, I'd probably be smoking them. But instead, I've got way too many baits. I can't decide what I wanna throw. But I do think this is gonna buy us a couple bites. They should be able to see it really well, and they should definitely be able to hear it because it's got these big old blades. We're taking a little tour through the woods, boys. We're at the pond that we started out at, but we're gonna actually walk on the other side here. I've never seen such a nasty, gloomy day, but these puppies are biting. We're gonna try this drop shot and try to get a couple more fish on the bank and see if we can get some big ones. I mean, the biggest fish we caught today was on this drop shot out in the middle, and I kind of have a better casting zone out where I'm at now. And we're going to see what we can do. Maybe we can get one that's eight, nine pounds. It might be hard to tell, but you can tell where the flat's at and it drops off there in the middle. And that's what I was talking about. You got this main point that funnels into this pocket. Shallow on the edges, deep in the middle. I mean, this is a perfect little spot. Got a little bit of wind pushing up in this pocket too. You know, I do wish I had 
a little bit more leeway on the budget here because I probably would have gone for something like a Komatsu D355A bulldozer. You know, if the Komatsu D355A somehow like accidentally had a bunch of steel plates welded to it, I mean, I would have caught the whole pond by now. The, I, I would have eaten the pond with that thing by now. There we go. That's a double digit right there. Fish number 10 is a decent one too, man. Stay pin, baby. She ain't a giant, but that's a good one. Get up here, boy. Oh yeah. Come in. <laughs> Let's go, guys. That is fish number 10, man. Wow. Pretty little fish. Not a big one. Well, that was fun. Thank you, baby. Let's go, man. They are loving this thing, and he was up on that grass there. I can't believe with the little time we've had, we're in the double digit zone, man. I wonder how those boys are doing. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that, man. Another one. fish number 11. Come here, baby. Right there. All right, don't shake too much. I'm going to get you right back in. And look at this, how beautiful this hook is hooking them. I love little circle drop shot hooks like that because you just lift up and just boom, right on the top of their mouth. Can we talk about something, guys? I had three more dollars in my budget, and I was like, I need to pick out one more bait. And this has been the bait that's just smoking them today. I want to say Adam might have picked some up too. I can't remember. I don't know if he's tried it out or caught some on it, but it's been working. You know, if you guys ever want to send me a Christmas gift, you know, Christmas is coming up in about eight months. You know, a Komatsu D355A is a great option. Ooh. Oh! Oh my gosh! He is running from right to left. To left to right? Is that a bass? It is a bass. Dude, that thing had the craziest little pull. You didn't see him pulling drags. He didn't have enough weight on him, but... He was going to the right and the left. That was insane right there. I want to say that's fish number 12. Maybe that's 13. That's somewhere there. Not a big one, but that, that was crazy. I hope you guys could see that because he was just going, he was going wild. If that was a big one doing that, he would have been stripping drag left and right. Oh, big weight coming off the bank. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Where's he at? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got us fish number two. Definitely not a giant to say the least, but thank you for biting, buddy. What a day, guys. That was fun. We had a blast and smoked these fish. The winner's going to be up on the screen with the big fish and the fish number. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did.